Okay, today uh, we finished installing the um, ventilation systems in both containers uh, after painting the technical walls. Uh, there are two layouts, this is container A, A, A and container B. They are a little bit different. Uh, in this container we have ventilation over there, um, air conditioning and uh, let's go inside, I, I'll show you the layout. And uh, over here there will be a very big uh, shower cabin. Uh, there will be sink over here and the toilet over here. Uh, in the place where you are standing uh, there will be washing machine and this door will not be used on daily basis. This is just for the customs officer or for us during the build. Uh, over here we have a huge glass door. Uh, it's five meters wide, uh, two and a half meters tall. When you slide it open, you have it open, it's as aluminum. I was saying, this is the uh, aluminum door that I will use on daily basis and the funny part is that after this container will arrive in New Zealand, we will cut out this wall and we will put hinges on the top and we will be able to lift it open and then use it and when we go out for a month or two, we will just lower the side wall and from the outside it will look just like the regular container, okay? And this was my my idea. Now, uh, there's an air conditioning over here and over here. And this is the, my bedroom. My bedroom has a potential window. I can install a window over here. We have a steel frame over here. But I didn't want to do it right now. I prefer a glass wall between my bedroom and uh, living room. There will be shades in it, so I'll be always uh, ready to open it if I want some sunshine or close it if I want some privacy. There will be kitchen over here, IKEA kitchen. Uh, so first we will install the drywalls, we will level it, we will install uh, air conditioning, then we will put uh, polyurethane foam on the, on the floor, the boards, polyurethane foam boards. And the floor will be lifted by 6 centimeters. Mm, and then there will be IKEA kitchen over here. And now let's move to the second contain container because it's a little bit different, okay? There will be LED lights on the LED stripes over here in the corners and over here because this container is designed to be off-grid. So not necessarily it will have uh, power connected. We will maybe get power from uh, solar panels. Okay, so in the second container we have a little bit different layout. So this is the air conditioning uh, unit and uh, ventilation unit. It's a uh, lost knife from Mitsubishi. It's all Mitsubishi because it's, uh, it's very high quality. And uh, the reason why we have this is that in container there's very limited amount of air. And if you want to live there comfortably, uh, you need to have fresh air coming in all the time. But you don't want to lose the temperature, air temperature, when you blow it out. You don't want cold air to escape during the summer. That's why this uh, recovers about 80% of uh, heat. So uh, when cold air is going out, uh, the air that's going in is being cooled without air conditioning. Now, uh, in this container we have a little bit more. We have a narrow window that opens both ways and uh, is 2.4 meters tall. This is the bedroom, so the bed will be over here. Um, and this is the uh, bathroom. There will be 90 by 90 uh, shower cabin, Sun Suisse, uh, Swiss shower cabin, very high quality. Uh, and uh, there will be sink over here, toilet over here. Uh, this is the place for the washing machine and the installation for the washing machine. Um, there's the potential of installing standard uh, door over here if you don't like using this on daily basis. So this is the same aluminum door as in the other container. There's uh, another window over here because the customer wanted this. There will be cabins over here kitchen over here, the fridge over here, and the mm, oven over here. That's why we suck, uh, suck out the, the dirty air over here. Uh, you can take a look on the ventilation. 
all the uh, incoming care is insulated. The roof, the walls is insulated with polyurethane foam. And uh, over here we'll have second air conditioning unit, the TV, the couch. And that's it. So thank you very much. And uh, in two months' time the container will be uh, going to the harbor. And in about four months, which means about uh, October or September, uh, they will arrive, hopefully September, they will arrive to New Zealand, Wangarei. Thank you very much.